Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. I bet you're wondering why I'm standing in the library. A long time ago, one of you guys told me that I had missed a book to read in here or something, and I didn't even think to check in any of the uh, lower floors. I thought all the books were together, but I did miss a book. It's right here. Yeah, the Sea's Legend. You get you. When do you actually put the whole thing in the comment? <laughs> Thank you for that. It's an ancient text only recently discovered. Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, read it again here, though. Once upon a time in the East Sea, there was a Pokemon known as the Prince. A brave human asked Pokemon living in the sea to let them see the prince. Mantike, Buzel, and a quillfish with huge spikes acknowledged the human's bravery and joined them. Together, they set off on a boat over the sunset streaked sea, sailing through the ocean gate stretched over the waves. News of this reached the ears of the prince, who went to meet the brave little party at the Seaside Hollow. So is the Seaside Hollow a place in the map? Have I already been there and I'm just really stupid? <laughs> I don't know, who's the prince Pokemon? That's, that's, this is so cool. I'm wondering if a lot of the stuff that I still don't know will be answered in like Legends Arceus or maybe if there's still like more stuff I can do in this game <laughs> that'll like tell me. Anyway, another thing one of you guys told me to go and check out is apparently there's a new slate in um in Romanus Park and it's called the Distortion Slate or something and there's like a new cave that I can use it on and you made it sound like I can just buy it. <laughs> I don't see it though. Yeah, I don't know. There's still only the two discovery slates. Unless there's like a different NPC somewhere else. Or maybe I just misunderstood it altogether. <laughs> or maybe I have to do something else beforehand. I don't know. I'll have to just see about that another time, I suppose. Because I still I still need time to sit there and, and get some shards and things like that. So, okay, well, <laughs> there goes the Romantis Park idea. But the next thing on my plans is I want to see what this little uh, route here is to the right of the league. Assuming I can even go there. Oh, the Pokemon League. Dude, the Pokemon League has such beautiful music. I think that's the route over there, but how do I get down there? <laughs> did I uh, did I fast travel to the wrong to the wrong place? I like that you can fast travel to the League and then right before the League. Oh, is it this way? Oh, jeez. Oh, I don't know. I don't see a way to get over there. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't think there's any way for me to get over there. At least as far as I can tell. Cause I remember all this, like there was just never a way to escape these rocks. Oh my God, you know what I do remember though? Oh, I, I just remembered this guy. How did I remember the Candleleaf house and not this guy? I think he was towards the end of the cave. Wasn't there a guy standing in front of like a doorway in the uh, Victory Road cave? I don't know if he's gonna lead over there, but I just remembered him. Watch him still be in front of the door. Cause I still can't get in the house, right? So it's like, why, why would he suddenly just be gone? I hope going in from the back is the smart way to do this. Was that the door right there? I don't, I'm not sure. I would have to like go back and look at my footage. <laughs> I think that's, that's it though. I also realized that there was a way. I think I realized it when I was editing. There is a way to go over there. I'm just really dumb. There's like a staircase right here next to this guy. I remember the first time I, I saw the guy standing in front of the door. I didn't know how to get to him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where he was, right? Fairly certain anyway. Oh God. Dude, there, is that a person? Ah, oh my god! <laughs> I didn't think she was gonna turn around. Wait, girl, I, I, oh. It's suddenly not foggy anymore. I was like, wait, let me defog the cave first. Gosh, she scared me when she suddenly turned around. I thought it was like a trainer. Marley. I'm Marley, and you are? I see. Biddy, will you help me, please? Oh, is this another one of those things where she's gonna like come with me or like around the cave? I want to get through this tunnel. Will you let me go with you? She is. Oh, there's probably something else then. It probably doesn't go to that route. How do you get to that route then next to the league? I, I'm so, I'm, I'm like wondering about that. Cause you can't just go to it straight from the league. The league's on this like giant mountain. Pokemon shouldn't be hurt. I'll heal them. Thanks girl. Now let me, let me defog this place. Beautiful. I can't surf because I'm with Marley. Marley, come on girl. I'm gonna have to come in here and check the water later. Man, it's been a while since I found like actual trainers. At least I feel. Being this stuff isn't good enough. You have to look cool while doing it. I think I look cool. Look, man, I'm the champion, okay? I don't think you guys know what you're up against here. And I've got a healer with me. This girl has a freaking Arcanine. Oh my God. Dude, I love Arcanine. I remember I specifically looked for a shiny Growlithe in a Let's Go Pikachu because I wanted to ride around, you know, my golden dog. And I did, I did it. It was one of my proudest <laughs> shinies ever. It was one of my only shinies ever. Oh, one of you guys also explained to me that Grass Knot does more damage the heavier their Pokemon is. I had no idea. It's not like it says it anywhere in the skill. I think anyway, I could be wrong. Oh my God. 
This battle has been such a slog because she doesn't make her Arcanine attack. She made him attack one time. And then past that, she's just been cheering on my, my Pokemon. It's like, girl, can you attack? I've already killed all the guys' Pokemon. We still have all of hers left. Like, I'd be so much faster if I was just by myself because then at least both Pokemon on my team can attack. It's finally over. Oh, yes, money. Dude, I need more money. You didn't win. I just lost. Oh, whatever. It's the same thing. Dude, this is like actually a maze, though. What the heck? I want to become stronger, but only with my favorite Pokemon. A girl, same. That's me. That's actually me. Watch me use my enormous brain to solve this puzzle. I mean, I, I have to just push it again, right? But if I push it again, how am I going to get that one? Oh, no. Did I already screw up? There was literally no way for me to push it, though, other than up. There's actually just no way. Oh, no. It's like... Oh, I think it's just whichever one I choose, I can't get the other one unless I leave and come back. I can leave and come back. It's fine. The exit's right down there. Dusk stone. Oh my god, wait. But if I leave and come back, then won't, won't Marley leave? Uh, okay, I'll just come back for that later. I have to come in here and surf in the water anyway to see what's over there. We're gonna go ahead and leave. You know, go train elsewhere. You may be a child, but you've taught me a whole lot. I thank you humbly. I like how one of them is like super humble and the other one's like, oh, I can't believe I lost. My god, I can't even go back this way. I know the exit's to the right. I think I saw it. I don't see what my age has to do with playing Pokemon, frankly. You know what? Yeah, you tell them, buddy. That's right. We all love our children's games. I'll forget that we lost. Oh my god. Jeez, I think I finally reached the exit. Dude, this was... This cave was not that long. But my god, the battles were dreadful. Like, I don't mind battling the, uh, the trainers that you find around the world. But... The problem with the ones here is that they were all double battles because she was with me and she did not attack. I think sometimes she attacked like once and then past that, the only things she would use is like Leer or she'd do Helping Hand for me, which I don't know what that does. Maybe it makes my attack stronger, but she just didn't do anything. She didn't attack them. So and because they were double battles, I was essentially having to kill both Pokemon every time. And each person in the other team each had three Pokemon. So it was just so slow. Like Pokemon battles are already kind of slow because of all the tags. But man, these took forever. Like, get out of here, Marley. You cannot get out of my party fast enough. Oh, this is it. There's a stone tablet ahead. Uh, oh, is there? <laughs> Where do you see that? I just see a door. I wanted to see the Pokemon that visits it. That's all. No, is there another legendary here? Dude, my wallet can't take this. I still haven't grinded for money yet. I appreciate you escorting me. At least a little. A little? You only appreciate me escorting you a little. Girl, you, your Arcanine can't even attack. What, a little? You know, escort yourself next time. You know, screw you. I hate her. She's the worst one. Out of all the escorts I've had to do, she's the worst. Yeah, screw you. You know what? I thought your bow was cute, Marley. I take it back. Big Pearl. You know, whatever gives me money. You know, I realized you could also surf here and just skip some of the cave, but you know, oh, I can surf now, actually, now that she's gone. Oh, it's another double battle. See, but I'll actually kill these people like a lot quicker now that she's not here anymore. I can't afford to lose this one. Well, you picked the wrong trainer to battle, buddy. Yeah, see, that took like two seconds. I feel sorry for my hungry Pokemon. Oh my God, dude, go like, go get them some food. Like just leave the cave and go buy some food. Sorry, team. I'll get tougher so you can feast on the taste of victory. They can't eat victory, dude. Go buy them some real food. Oh my god, I just found leftovers. That's a really annoying thing that all the uh, gym, not the gym leaders, the Elite Four were using. Okay, I surfed to the places and I went back and got that one item I missed. Let's see, this is probably the exit then, right? Yeah, yeah, it looks like it is. You're 224. Oh, wait, does this actually lead to the uh, right thing? <gasps> it does! Oh, that's so good. Okay, I'm there looking at like the water. <laughs> I'm there like trying to surf to this place. Wow. Is that a trainer? Yeah, yeah, you are. There's something about you. You're not just anybody. I challenge you. Yeah, I'm the I'm the champion. But in all honesty, the trainers in this game aren't really that strong. Except for Cynthia. That's so much grass. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I've seen countless trainers and even more Pokemon. So what kind of trainer are you? I'm the one that wins. All right, I'm the main character trainer. That's the kind of trainer I am. Dude, this is such a tease. I just want to go to that staircase. There's a person there. Dude, I think that's that person that I saw from the Pokemon League. I think that's who that is. Ugh, instead of training myself, I should have been training my Pokemon. All I've been doing for the last year is staring out over the sea. <laughs> I heard there's an intriguing stone monument around, so I came running. I guess that girl said there was like a stone tablet or something, right? I don't know where, how the heck she saw that from inside the cave. Oh my God, I didn't even see this person standing behind the tree. Oh my god, it's this one, Metagoss. I think this one is so cool. 
this guy with his X on his face. I could use a rematch to get some additional data. I wonder if she says something different if I actually rematch her. It's been several years since I left the Dragon's Den. What is that? What's the Dragon's Den? Oh, hey, I found Destiny Knot. Isn't Destiny Knot not supposed to be like super uh, nice for breeding or something? Okay, what is this? What is this area here? This is it? This it? This is a dead end. What is this? Is this the, oh, this is the pedestal? The unmarked surface is polished like a mirror. Wow. What is this? Am I supposed to do something here? Do I have to use an item here or something? I don't know what to do here. Maybe I have to come back later or something? There's also like a section over here that I can't get to. Where is it? Here. There's like a place I can surf there and get that. And there's those berries. Wait, how do we get there? I must have missed like a whole part of the island. Yeah, wait, how do I get there? How do I get there? <laughs> oh no. How in the hell? Oh wait, is this open here? Is this open? Oh no, I thought maybe there was like a space here. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's like something else later I have to do. <laughs> I don't know about this place, but I guess I've explored what I can. This area is a miniature version of Sinnoh region. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I guess the next thing to finally do is to explore this island. I don't know whether I should head to survival area first or the resort area. I think I, I, I kind of want to go to the resort area first. Okay, I've healed my Pokemon and I bought just a few more Pokeballs just in case because, you know, these legendaries just keep springing up out of nowhere. We're going to head off to this resort area and see what it is. What's with the music in this place? <laughs> it's so cool. So we have to go to the right, but I can surf upward, but I don't know if I should. Or not surf upward. Oh, it's just it's just berries. People keep coming to us for battles. I really don't know why. Tee <laughs> You know what? I don't know why either. I don't know why I go up to you guys. Actually, I do know why. I need money. I wanted to be alone, but after swatting away so many immature boys, well, my Pokemon grew tough without me really even trying. <laughs> it's like an MMOs when you're just surrounded by a bunch of really desperate dudes, you know, and just give you a bunch of free stuff. You've got wild Pokemon using a hidden move for you. I find that really moving. Why do the wild Pokemon do that for me? Like, actually, though. Oh man, the resort area is right down there. You know what? Screw those two trainers. I want to go see this resort area. <gasps> We're here. Resort area. Resort area. Relax and play. Oh my god. What is this place? Is it a place to like leave your Pokemon for them to be like happier or something? Pokemon appear where there's still lots of nature left. And trainers gather where Pokemon appear. And where trainers gather, that's where Pokemon centers appear. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happens. These Pokemon centers, they don't get built or anything by people. They just appear out of thin air if enough trainers gather together. The weather and the terrain here are much more extreme than what you'll find in Sinnoh. Really? I mean, it didn't seem that different. It's kind of nice here, honestly. It's not only Sinnoh's best that gather at the Battle Tower. We're talking about the greatest trainers in the world. I, I don't, I don't know about that, man. I mean, I fought a bunch of little children there. I'm kind of stuck. They tell me there's no shop here. How am I supposed to get ready for the road? I mean, just use fly, lady. Can we fly here, actually? I would assume so. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. You know how you can dig up cool stuff in the Grand Underground? People are saying they're digging up new, different stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I figured. I still haven't gone digging yet, but I'm, I plan to. Dude, this guy, this guy is standing so close to his TV. Back up, man. Jeez. All I need to be happy is my TV. What more could I want? <laughs> I learned so much just sitting here. I'm absorbing knowledge. <laughs> For instance, I learned all about a Poketap called the Marking Map. Oh yeah, I already, I already have that. I learned that one from a uh, professor. But professor, what's his name? I can't remember his name now. For some reason, Professor Rowan. Professor Rowan. They say the Marking Map can track Pokemon that travel or, or from. I, I know this already, man. I know this. I didn't need a TV to tell me that. I've never met any traveling Pokemon myself, but I've heard about them. Well, I mean, maybe if you like left your house, you know, left your TV, you could probably find one. Maybe, you know, they're, they're kind of annoying. They're kind of very fickle when it comes to being found. He's like a neat, except instead of being like on the Internet all day, he's just watching TV. Try getting yourself a computer, man. Like if you like TV that much, like, wow, you're going to have like a field day with the Internet. OK, what is this place here? This is so cute with the bushes. Oh, this is. Oh, this is a different route up here. Wait, no, I want to see what this is. I think this is the resort here. Yeah, resort area. Oh, there's another pool guy here. The Ribbon Syndicate. Members only. Can I go in? Am I a member? I spent a lot of time in the pool. Will I melt into the water <laughs> the way va <laughs> Vaporeon can? I mean, I let's hope you don't, dude. Wow, look at this building. Oh my god, the little symbol with the bow on it's so cute. Oh my god. The minute I came in here, this girl is just right in front of me. 
Are you smelling me? What are you doing? I do apologize. This is an exclusive establishment, open only to a select few. You might consider it a special stage for the cream of the crop. Uh, well, I'm the champion, okay? Is Cynthia allowed in here? Because I beat her. If you wish to enter, I suggest you start by collecting lots of ribbons. Oh no! <laughs> I haven't done any more contests ever since the first ones I did. I still have to do those. Oh no, I need to get ribbons from those to come in here. I was just going to do those like later, like after I beat everything, just, just do them on my own. Oh god, my character just leaves. Wait, what kind of ribbons? Do you mean the contest ribbons or like different ones? I have foot ribbons. My Pokemon have good feet. Uh, okay. I guess I'll see about that. Oh, that sucks. I wanted to know what this was. It looks so fancy. Oh no. Well, I guess I'll explore the route ahead and then uh, I guess we'll head here. What is this? Survival area. We'll, we'll try going there. <laughs> There's just this old dude standing behind the trees here. Were you looking for me? Did you miss me? I wish I had a new nugget of wisdom to share with you, but alas, I don't. A new nugget of I've never talked to you before, man. Who are you? So I'll have to make it up to you with this. Oh. Oh, well, thanks, I guess. That's my nugget. Try to spend it wisely. <laughs> okay, I'll find only the most worthiest of shops to go sell this at. A nugget of gold has to be worth more than a nugget of my wisdom. <laughs> Wait, I found I found Reaper Cloth. Isn't that the thing that evolves Duskull? Or am I wrong? I don't know. This doesn't give me any information, really. <laughs> I think this is what it was though, right? One of the items I could find in the um, the ruins where I found Giratina. Oh, this just connected back down towards these trainers that I skipped. Oh, this guy has dust cloths. That's so funny. I've been seeing a lot of like older Pokemon in the, um, this part of the map. I guess it's kind of nice. It, it helps you fill out your um, national decks if you were trying to complete it. Wow, Lubby is trying to learn a new move. Dude, it's been ages. <laughs> it's been ages since one of my Pokemon wanted to learn something new. I grew up together with my team, right from my childhood. All our memories, we've always shared them. Shouldn't you be like way stronger though? I literally got my Pokemon like, you know, a few weeks ago, lady. Okay, I'm all healed up. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll head up from here. And then from here, we're gonna go all the way to the left to the uh, survival area so we can see what that is. Cause I kind of want to save the volcano for last. And we'll also check out this route going up. Oh God, I came here and there's like a sandstorm. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's pretty cool. I heard that somewhere there's someone who teaches Pokemon moves. Yeah, I met that guy. Oh my god, it's another one of these houses. But this one has like an old man. Space and Galaxies, the beginning of space. Beyond time and space. Dude, those are my kind of books. I spend all my time reading here. My son is an avid reader too. I recently learned that the word universe meant time and space in an ancient language. Is that true? I didn't know that if that's true. Oh, that's it? <laughs> that's all that's here? He's not gonna like do anything else? He's just this like random house in the middle of the route that I was in. I like how the, all the books here are about time and space except this one pile that's about like psychics and powers of Pokemon and stuff. I wonder, I wonder who his son is. Dude, I love riding my bike on these like, <laughs> on these bridges. They're so cool. That was a long one too. There's another house here. Maybe this is like the house of the son of the guy that I was reading. <laughs> the old guy. Oh, it's just another old person. What's with all these old people living in the mountains? Your quest for power has brought you here. <laughs> what, what do you have to teach me, master? Very well. Let me reward your passion with some absolutely astounding moves. They're the ultimate moves. Shall I teach them to your Pokemon? Uh, what are they? What, <laughs> what are they? To which Pokemon? I don't know. What are the moves? I, I like Rocco's moves though. I think he's got a nice move set. Hydro Cannon. Wow. You know, no, we'll leave it. He, he'll be here. He'll always be here for me to come and learn this stuff. Visit if you have a change of heart. Yeah, we'll, we'll see, old man. Hey, look at his little like cereal that he's eating. That's so cute. To the Pokemon listed here, the ultimate moves may be taught. Oh, 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 listen here. The Blazing Fire Pokemon. Okay, Charizard, Typhlosion, Blaziken, and Fernape. Blastoise for Alligator, Swampert, and Empoleon. Venusaur, Meganium, Sceptile, and Torterra. Aren't these just a bunch of starters? I guess only starters can learn these like super crazy ultra moves. Oh my god, guys, you see that little mound there? That's totally, that's totally another ninja. Oh, wait, it's not a ninja. What the heck? <laughs> I thought I couldn't win before it became a fact. <laughs> I've let down my Pokemon. They go to battle with faith in their trainer. Dude, calm down. It's okay to lose some, man. What is the point of this little mountain? I came up here thinking there was like a hidden item or something. There's nothing. <laughs> What the heck? Have you any knowledge of levels or the stats of Pokemon? Well, I do. I, I, I do. I think a lot of people do. 
Pokemon levels and stats. Who cares about that stuff? A, a lot of people do. Maybe you would win if you cared a little more. I found a protector. My guardian angel. Oh wait, the protector. Oh, is this one of those weird items I saw in the battle tower and I was wondering what, the, what it was? Well, I found one, so I don't have to buy one. Why is the music in all these places so cool? <laughs> a stark mountain. Oh my God, there's like ash everywhere. Wow, that's really cool. We're not going there yet though. <laughs> I want Star Mountain to be like the last place we go to. Oh my god, you guys, I see Barry over there. Oh wait, is this where he's been? Oh my god, I need to battle this girl first. Dude, the Pokemon Rangers are so freaking cute. Oh my god, we're here. He hey, Barry, how's it going? <laughs> Long time no see, dude. Hi. Oh my god. Oh right, this is Crasher Wake, right? The really cool guy, the really cool gym leader. Oh, if it isn't Biddy, it's been a while. You've grown so tough that you're training out here now. I mean, I'm just exploring. Everyone keeps getting tougher and tougher. And in doing that, they develop closer bonds with their Pokemon. For someone born overseas, this tough dude doesn't have an accent or anything. <laughs> Biddy, there's a volcano ahead of us called Stark Mountain. That blowhard Buck guy is on his way there as well. Who is... Was Buck the... Uh, who is Buck? Was he the guy that... Yeah, I think he was the guy that um, we bumped into when we first came to this island, right? The guy that was like, oh, you, it's before going to the volcano, go to the uh, battle tower or whatever. I think that's the guy. I'm going to find the volcano's treasure before that guy does. Okay, good luck, Pippus. If I could do that, a 21 win streak at the battle tower would be possible. So it, by win streak, is it every seven battles, right? You have to win seven battles 21 times or is each individual trainer count towards the 21 all right bye pimpus <laughs> good luck you're serious you're going to stark mountain even the wild pokemon there are very very tough if your pokemon aren't well trained they'll have a miserable time i think i'll be okay then again that kind of challenge is an exciting prospect but no matter what you'd better be fully prepared i've got to get ready for another tournament farewell a another tournament what tournament don't you mean like another gym battle? Why aren't you doing your job? Aren't you a gym leader? Dude, all just all these old people in the mountains. Oh, can I rest here? No, I can't sleep in Granny's bed. Oh dear, are your Pokemon feeling tired? You should rest up. Yes, good idea, rest up here. <laughs> Why do you have to be so weird about it? Like, yes, I wanted to rest here, Granny, thanks. Yes, yes, that's right. Get some well-earned rest. Why is she so creepy? There's just something off about this old lady. Oh, you're still looking tired. You're still needing rest, are you? You should rest up again. Yes, good idea. Rest up here. Stay here forever. <laughs> no, I don't want to rest anymore. Is that right? You're sure now? I'm only concerned for your sake. No need to worry about putting me out. Uh, it's fine, Granny. I, I, may, I may never come here again. So I'm assuming the mountain is just up here, right? Oh, well... Or not. Oh, I, okay. I think I need to go here. But I don't want to go to the mountain yet. <laughs> I wanted to save that for last. Oh, no. Should... Because I think down here... Yeah. Oh, no. I don't think there's a way to keep going to the right. To survival area. I wanted to go there first. Oh, no. Guys, I really want to go to survival area first. Oh, maybe here. Maybe here. I forgot there was a body of water here. I think I can surf to the left from here. Oh, it's another... It's another little house. This is also going to have an old person in it. What's oh, a hiker guy? Hey, Konnichiwa. <laughs> Glad to meet you, Guten Tag. I'm the Meister. Uh, hi. In this language's parlance, I would be called a craftsman. Something like that. Dude, I can't. What? Comprendo? <laughs> so, I smell you. I smell something about you. Oh my god, dude. Just step away. You're so weird. There is no question. You are a lover of Pokemon just like me. This is a wonder bar. So here is what I will do. I will power up your Pokedex so you can read the descriptions of Pokemon in other languages. Oh, that's really cute. Wow. But it won't work for all Pokemon. I'm not even going to like try to read that. Only the Pokemon of regions that I, the Meister, have visited. Oh, OK, of course. How do I know which regions you visited? Oh, you know, he probably says that because they can't do it in every language in existence. Now, may I see your Pokedex? So I change this setting here, fool with this here, and done. Does Professor Rowan know what you're doing to his Pokedex? Huh? This Pokedex has already been updated. <laughs> Dude, this is like the second time this has happened. Wonderbar, you've got technology ahead of its time, and that's muy bueno. <laughs> Be sure to read lots of Pokedex entries from other countries. Huh? What is it? Well, he said by, from other countries. 
Does that mean they're still in English, but they see something different? Let's see what good old, uh, let's see what Dialga has to say. What? Wow, this is really quiet. Oh, this is cute. Uh, this isn't what he did, though. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm pressing the plus button. I'm not sure what that does. Pause motion. Oh, this is weird. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. This is not what he was talking about anyway. I see English up there. I think it's just different languages. Hey, konnichiwa, bonjour, and all the rest. Have you a Pokemon named Finian? Sest un wingfish Pokemon? If you'd be so kind, trade trade it, will you, for my precious Magikarp? Why would I do that? Oh, this is a tragedy. A tragedy, I tell you. But one day you will trade me the Pokemon I want. Oh my god, dude, a little forceful there. The Meister knows this because I have traveled the world. If you've traveled the world, why don't you have one of those, huh? Man, this is a lot of places to rock climb here. My Pokemon. It's actually the very first friend I've ever had. Stop, dude. You're going to make me cry. Oh, survival area. We're almost there. I just need to check this part over here. Oh, I just went into the survival area. Wait, what's down here, though? Oh, this is also an entrance to survival area. I thought this kid was a trainer. <laughs> what the heck? Hey, traveling trainer. Is your back full of items or is it full of dreams? <laughs> In a multi-battle. Coordination with your partner is vital. By working together, one plus one could become not just two, but even three or four. But one times one is always one. Do you understand that? The universe was made by something born from an egg. A man I met long ago told me that. Oh, who told you that? Was it Cyrus? I wasn't experienced enough for the battle tower. Training on Stark Mountain might be the only sensible choice. For some reason, all the best trainers in Sinnoh seem to gather there. So are you supposed to go to Stark Mountain first or the Battle Tower first? Because the freaking, uh, what's his name, told me and Pimpas to train at the Battle Tower first, even though you don't get any XP there. I did not mean to jump down here. Dude, this, look at this cameraman. Hi. I'm a cameraman, obviously. <laughs> yeah, you definitely are. Have you ever seen the TV program called Search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in the lake? I did! That was the very first TV show my character watched. That, that's like in the very beginning, right when you start the game. This never like went anywhere, right? The Red Gyarados thing? That didn't go anywhere. Like nothing happened with that. Unless that was from a previous game and I just don't remember. You know, that outstanding documentary? Yeah, I filmed that. Oh, well, uh, good job, I guess. Oh, I need to get to the other side. Is that what that other entrance is for? A survival area. Oh, there's another building here, too. Oh, this doesn't lead anywhere. How do we get to the other side? You took the trouble of coming here? <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's nothing. Oh, okay. I guess I'll take my leave then. It's a sad day for me not to be able to share in your joy. Wow, there really isn't anything here, huh? That <laughs> What the heck did this game? Just always trolling me. Oh, it's Team Galactic. Oh, never mind. It's just the weather. So is there actually nothing here? I'm pressing A. Oh, hey, there's a max revive. There was something, all right, Mr. Hiker guy. Oh, so how do I get to the other side of the survival area? See, like right over there, how do I get there? Why is this place even called the survival area? Is that what that other side of the uh, place is? Look at this boulder on this on this hill. Oh my God, you know, I can't even go down from here. What, what have I stumbled across? This is really the survival area. I mean, I can actually fast travel to the survival area. What happens if I fast travel to it? Imagine it puts me on the other side. That'd be such a cheaty. No, it just puts me here. Okay, well, that's kind of weird. I guess I have to just go up from the fight area. Uh-huh, nothing's as super duper as a super rod. Wouldn't you agree? No. Don't you like to fish? <laughs> Is he gonna give me a better rod? Dude, I haven't fished in like forever. Uh-huh, super duper minds think alike. Take this super rod, uh-huh. <laughs> Thanks, man. Oh my God, you guys, after I finish exploring this route. I think this is the last route that I can ever go through in this game. That's kind of that's kind of crazy. It's also kind of sad. You can grow strong anywhere. It doesn't matter where you are. Uh, that is not true. Okay, you don't want to be in a low level area grinding. All right, lady. You know, I was saying how this is the final route I'm going to be traveling through, but I realized like, no, there's still the volcano. That's probably a route of its own. I found my gang protein, Garbos, you name it. I pumped them full of it. <laughs> Just pumping steroids into your Pokemon. Oh, the survival area. I think we're finally at the end of the route. Oh, here we go. Oh, see, now we're on this side. Dude, that whole route just to go here to this one little house. What is this? Survival area staging point. What does that mean? Hey, lady. Trainer to lose at the battle tower come here to hone their skills. Come where? To this house? Let me tell you about Stark Mountain. <laughs> you just come here to talk to this old man to learn about the mountain. That volcano dates back to when Sinnoh was made by the melding of time and space. Wow. 
You're telling me Sinnoh was like the first region ever made ever right when time and space was created. Sinnoh came to be immediately. Nothing else existed in the universe other than time, space, and Sinnoh. Fiery lava spilled out and pooled, which then turned into a Pokemon. It's said that the magma stone was used to keep the Pokemon under control. According to legend, the Pokemon transformed over time into the heart of the volcano itself. Oh my god, is this another legendary? I don't know what this one is at all. Oh, is that it? You really do just come here to talk to this old man, huh? Why is it even called survival area? Is it because it's like a treacherous path to get here? Well, I guess the one convenient thing is I can just jump over to the other side. And, you know, Stark Mountain's not too far away. A word of advice from a grizzled mountain man. Buy up as many items as you can hold in your bag. I'm not joking. Oh, don't worry, dude. I literally spend like half a million dollars just buying items. Okay, well, I don't know why the survival area is called the survival area. There's literally nothing to do here. But at least we've fully explored this island, right? All that's left is the mountain. Yeah, man. I'm just not cool enough for the resort area, I guess. I need to earn some more ribbons. I'm not posh enough, you know? Man, I think I'm going to end the episode here. And next time, I, uh, I guess I'll go to the volcano first thing and see whatever's there. I bet it's going to be another legendary. I bet what that old man was talking about was some legendary that I don't even know what it is. Like, I have no idea. I'm planning to do some stuff off cam. Um, I want to catch Cresselia because I still haven't done that. I remember her name is Cresselia now. I want to grind up some money because I'm so freaking poor. It's awful. And I'll try to find some shards in the underground to see if I can. Um, I don't know about that distortion slate that you guys were talking about. I'll see about that. But I want to at least get enough shards to at least see, to at least summon something in the park and see what that's like. I also need to talk to every NPC in the underground. I haven't forgotten about that. <laughs> well, no, that's not true. I did forget about that, but I remembered. I don't know how long that'll take, so I'll, I'll try. Oh, and one more thing. I almost forgot to mention this. I did finally go to the old chateau and I did fully record it. So I'll just go ahead and play that footage. But yeah, anyway, so next time we're going to go to Stark Mountain, probably catch another legendary. I did buy some Ultra Balls with like a little bit of money I had. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, hey guys, I am here next to Eterna Forest. I almost forgot to do this. Almost. But I remembered. I have to come here and check out the old chateau. Let's go take a look. This is still one of the prettiest places. Oh, there's a person here. Hi. And you are. I need to turn off that map. I still got to catch Cresselia. I remembered her name. It's Cresselia. Hi, person. Gardenia. That's one of the gym leaders, right? I think so. Hiya. Ah, yeah. Were you intrigued by the rumors going around too? I don't know which rumors you're talking about, lady. <laughs> you know, people have been talking about the ghost Pokemon of the old chateau. I've been hearing rumors about sinister shadows too. Oh, what, you mean like Haunter? Or was it Ghastly? It was one of the two that this place was filled with. I should check it out myself, but going in there is... Well, you know, being that I'm a gym leader, I'm always busy. I, I guess, I mean, you're always, all the gym leaders are always just kind of standing around, you know? It's like I'm the only challenger like that ever challenges them within days. So, since I'm so busy, I can't go in. It's not because I'm scared. Yeah, okay, Gardenia, it's fine. Keep telling yourself that. S so, g good luck with your investigation. Okay, bye. <laughs> Just running away with her tail in between her legs. All right, dude, I, I got this. You know, the 10-year-old can do everything. All right, this place was really creepy, though, the first time I came here. The, the windows are, like, glowing purple. It's so, it's so creepy. So, is there anything new here? The thing is, I don't know where to go. Maybe in the dining room area. This place is so scary. I love it. I think the only reason I'm not more scared is because this is a Pokemon game. Because <laughs> I'm like a massive, massive pussy, guys. I've been checking the rooms one by one. I haven't found anything different so far. Oh, this is the room with the TV. Wait, what? Inside the TV, there appears to be a Pokemon. The Pokemon looks like it could come out. Would you like to thump the TV? Oh, is this is this the new thing? Is this what I was supposed to do? I was touching bookshelves and stuff. <laughs> uh... Oh god, am I gonna have to catch something? I haven't bought new Pokeballs yet. I haven't grinded for money. I need like time to sit there and just grind money and stuff. Uh, let's give it a try. I should have saved. Why didn't I save? I saved right before I came into the mansion. What is happening? What Pokemon is this gonna be? This is definitely legendary because of that <laughs> animation. Oh, it's this thing! A wild Rotom. Is this thing a legendary? Or is it just like a special Pokemon? I am gonna have to sit here and catch it. No, I haven't bought I haven't bought Pokeballs, guys. Oh, let's start with a quick ball. 
Yeah, of course. I don't think the quick balls worked a single time other than with Mesprit. Dust balls wouldn't work in here, right? Because this isn't like a cave and it's not night. Well, it is nighttime, actually. Does it matter if it's nighttime outside? <laughs> Does that help? Does it matter? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to weaken it. Well, it's raising its defense. It's only level 15. How can I not catch this when it's only 15? Come on, Pokeballs, do the work. I feel like if I hit it, it's definitely gonna die. Oh, 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 here. Oh my God, no, this thing freaking baiting me. What a, what a tease. Yeah, you keep raising your defense. Maybe if it raises its defense high enough, I can just hit it without killing it. Oh. Oh, please, please. Oh my god, this thing keeps teasing me. It's like, oh, you think you got me, but not quite. Oh. There, okay, there we go. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. It only took like maybe like four or five balls. Thank goodness. Man, I almost forgot to come here. Is this the only thing I had to do? Or is there something more? I'll check the rest of the rooms that I haven't been to yet. I remember Rotom from like, from something, from one of the games I played. I don't remember which one. Its body is composed of plasma. It's known to infiltrate electronic devices and wreak havoc. He's like a Digimon. <laughs> okay, since I mentioned Digimon, I decided to name it Thundermon. I had to like look up like an electricity Digimon because I don't really know Digimon the way I know Pokemon. <laughs> I don't even know if this thing is electric. I think it said it in the Pokedex entry. Oh, something's on the ground. Oh. Secret key. <gasps> Does this open the door to that house I was, was like so desperate to get into? I tech key the SBs at a specific location. It emits a special electronic signal to open a door. I like how the key kind of looks like him. Where does that open? 